Hi, my name is Lindel. This is a short yoga practice that you can do whenever you feel lazy or sleepy and you need a boost to continue the day. Many poses are on the knees, so make sure you have extra padding if you have sensitive knees. Two yoga blocks can come in handy. As always, listen to your own body and skip the poses that feel painful or too intense. Let's come to our mats. From kneeling, fold forward in child's pose. Open the knees comfortably apart. Allow the torso to relax in between the legs, arms resting to the front. Lift the head and walk the hands to the left side to generate a stretch to the right side body. Bow the head down. Breathe in and out through the nose. Lift the head again and walk both hands over to the right side to stretch out the left side body. Relax the neck and soften the muscles of the face. Try to take even inhales and exhales. Now walk the hands to the center and come upright. Place both hands behind you to open the chest and throat. Stay here or lift the hips high up to stretch the front of the abdomen, the hips and the thighs. Come out and slide the hands forward bringing the hips over the knees to open the chest and shoulders in extended puppy pose. Breathe out the tension in the chest and shoulders. Last exhale, slowly return to kneeling, but now Tuck the toes under, spread the toes with the help of the hands if necessary. If this feels too intense for you, you can lean forward on both hands. Come out of the toe stretch. Open the knees wider for a nice stretch over the inner thighs. Stay upright or straighten the torso and arms out in front of you for wide legged like child's pose. Return upright. Come to tabletop position. Hands underneath the shoulders and knees hips distance apart. On an inhalation, arch the back and lift the chin. On an exhalation, round the back and pull the chin gently towards the chest. Continue on your own pace. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose.
last cat pose and return to a neutral spine now reach the left arm forward and the right leg back inhale and exhale draw the knee to the chest to touch elbow to knee inhale extend and exhale crunch three more of these Now straighten the leg behind you and place the left hand down. Move the right leg to the side and keep the foot hovering above the floor. Take the right foot to the floor and come up standing on the left knee, right leg straight. Inhale, reach the left arm up and exhale, bend to the right side, sliding the right hand down the leg. Now fold the chest towards the right leg. Walk the hands over to the middle, lowering the chest towards the ground for a variation of extended puppy pose with the right leg out to the side. Move the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, slide the left hand underneath the right arm for thread the needle. Relax the left cheek to the floor. Come out from the spinal twist and return to tabletop position. Reach the right arm in front of you and the left leg back. Inhale and exhale, pull the elbow and knee under the chest. Four more repetitions. Move slowly and controlled. Place the right hand down and straighten the left leg behind you to circle the leg forward to hold the leg to the side hovering above the ground. Release the left foot down, standing up the right knee. Inhale, reach the right arm alongside the ear. Exhale to bend to the side and gate pose. Keep the chest open facing the front of the mat. Now fold the chest over the left leg. Move the hands and the torso to the center and release the chest in between the arms. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, twist the right arm up and exhale to thread the needle. Come back to tabletop position. Move the hands slightly forward and lower the hips in line with the shoulders and knees. Fingers are pointing forward. Bend the elbows while keeping the elbows hugged into the ribcage. Push up on an inhale and repeat three more times. And come and rest down on the belly. Make a pillow with the hands. Come up resting on the forearms, elbows underneath the shoulders, palms flat on the ground or palms together in prayer. Shoulders are away from the ears. Open the chest and throat by tilting the head back in sphinx pose. 
lower the chin parallel to the floor, bend the right leg and pull the foot closer towards the buttocks to open the front of the thigh. Let go of the right foot and repeat half frog pose with the left leg. Release. Lower the head and chest down and straighten the arms out in front of you. Keep the legs hips distance apart. Rise into locust pose on an inhale and lower down on an exhale. Repeat four more on your own pace of breath. As an option, you can reach the arms backwards instead. Last time, inhale and hold for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Lower down on the belly again, softening the body and face as a whole. Now plant the hands down to the sides of the chest and inhale, arch back in cobra. Exhale, send the hips back to child's pose. Inhale to round the spine forward and lower the hips in cobra. Exhale, arch back to child's pose. Two more spinal rolls like this. Come to tabletop again and reach the right leg back. Release the hip by making big knee circles. Inhale, extend the leg behind you. On an exhale, draw the knee into the chest to lower down the right foot in between the hands. Find a comfortable and steady position for the front foot to sink the hips down and find a gentle stretch along the front of the left hip and thigh. Keep the hands on the ground or place the hands on top of the thigh if it feels okay. From low lunge, move slowly towards half splits by straightening the front leg and maybe flexing the foot. You can keep the fingers on the ground or on two blocks on either side of the leg. Come forward into low lunge on an inhale and send the hips back in half splits on an exhale. Move with awareness to the breath and movement or to the physical sensations in the poses. Last half splits. Breathe evenly while holding the hamstring stretch for a couple of moments. Place the hands underneath the shoulders again and inhale to extend the right leg behind you. Exhale to settle the knee down. Let's repeat these hip openers with the left leg. Start with describing big knee circles. Inhale to extend the leg behind you and exhale to draw the left knee into the chest and lower the foot down to the front of the mat. Find a steady pose in which you can generate a hip flexor and quad stretch along the front of the right leg. Hold low lunge for a while, resting the hands on top of the thigh 
to keep the torso lifted. Now on an exhale move into half splits and on an inhale return to low lunge, maybe using blocks here. Last time to hold the hamstring stretch for a couple of breaths. Bend the front leg again. Inhale to send the left leg back. And exhale to tabletop. Move the hands slightly forward and tuck the toes under. The hips rise to touch the belly to the thighs. Find length to both sides of the torso and press the hands evenly into the ground. Now straighten one leg while pushing the heel to the ground and alternate one leg after the other. Come to a static downward facing dog, lifting the hips high, straightening both legs and pushing both heels towards the ground. Gaze forward and slowly start to tiptoe the feet up to the top of the mat. Heel toe the feet wider and soften the knees to dangle over the thighs, relaxing the back and the neck. Maybe hold on opposite elbows and gently sway from side to side. From dangling, turn the feet out and sink the hips down in between the feet for garland pose. Join both palms in prayer and push the upper arms gently into the inner thighs. Stay here or prepare for crow pose if that's part of your practice. Interlace the fingers and rotate the wrists. Place the hands, fingers wide, shoulder distance apart and lift the hips to place the knees on the forearms or into the armpits. Keep the chest lifted and gaze to the ground in front of you. Hover one foot above the ground and maybe a second one. If you found balance, squeeze the heels closer to the buttocks. Return to garland pose and release the wrists again. Inhale and exhale, reach both arms forward, rounding the spine to stretch the back and the neck. Come seated down. Bend the knees and lift the feet parallel to the ground for half boat pose. Hold or exhale to lower into low boat. Inhale to rise into half boat. Repeat a couple of more of these to strengthen core and hip flexors.
return to half boat and hug the knees into the chest. Hold on to the backs of the legs with the left arm and twist the right arm open to the side. Return to the middle and repeat on the left side. Back to the middle, right arm opens to twist to the right. Back to the middle and twist last time to the left side. Release. Come and sit up tall with the legs crossed. Reach the right arm high and bend sideways, keeping the chest open. Now fold the torso over the left leg. Fold into the middle. And over to the right leg. Open the chest to the front again. Left arm alongside the ear. And come upright. Now change the crossing of the legs. And inhale to lengthen through the spine. Exhale to rotate towards the right side. Continue breathing in the spinal twist, pressing the left hand into the thigh and the right fingertips on the ground behind you. On the next inhalation, release the twist. Exhale, rotate to the left side. Gaze over the back shoulder and relax the shoulders down. Unwind from the twist on an inhalation. Exhale to fold the torso forward and breathe. Come upright again and place the hands behind you with the fingers pointing forward. Lift the hips with the knees bent or with the legs straight, pushing the soles down towards the floor. Head can hang down to open the throat. Return to easy pose. And close the eyes for a moment of introspection. Let's finish this practice with three big cycles of breath. Inhale to reach the arms to the side and up. Exhale to lower both hand joint in prayer. Two more of these. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Thanks so much for practicing with me. Namaste.